This is why I lock is shit right here. This was just working just literally a minute ago. All of a sudden, I lock says some error message and it crashed. And then I go back into I lock, my license is gone. For UAD for event. Thank God this was free, right? But I can't fucking use it. So there you go. Guess what? UAD, get rid of fucking iLock. Stop using that shit. Use your own fucking licensor. iLock is shit. This is why I don't fucking jump into the UAD world. For this. They have great plugins, but they are dumb fucking idiots. Who fucking use... Universal Audio uses fucking iLock, man. Dude, we are not it's like a two decades back anymore, man. Stop, stop using that shit. This is why people hate it. We're not trying to pirate your shit. We hate it because when you have a legitimate license, you still can't use the goddamn plugins. That's why. Fucking stupid. So I can't use it in this video like I wanted to, so... Fuck UAD and fuck iLock. You guys need to get your fucking shit together. Because, uh, you know what? I'm not going to sit here and go through this bullshit where I have to, like, reinstall fucking iLock and I'm going to have to go send a stupid message to some prick at iLock that I have a, f I have a fucking free license from UAD. It's free because it's free right now. They're doing it till April 30th or something. It's free. Should just stop working out of nowhere and then go, oh, sorry, your plugins are gone. Go eat a dick, basically. That's what they're basically telling me. So anyway, I lock and go to hell. UAD can go to hell with them then. So um, they're not gonna definitely not going to like this video. But you know what? I hope you guys watch it, right? Because the name of the video is going to be Fuck UAD or whatever I'm going to call it. But anyway, fuck that. That tape machine wasn't that fucking damn good for me to go through this bullshit. I'm sorry. So, I don't know. And I got to find an alternative. Fucking, this pisses me off. Whatever. <laughs> um, I have soft tube tape, which is iLock licensed. Piece of shit. It's not even that good anyway. So now, okay. Hey, guys, go drop a comment. Recommend me a tape plugin that doesn't use fucking iLock. Like, Brainworks is cool, man, but they don't make a tape plugin. I don't think, do they? Um, so, anyway, I'm heated over that shit. So, now I gotta find an alternative. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't need to. The whole point, though, is what I was going to do. That's what the whole point of this video was. I was going to treat each one of these tracks and just pass it, you know, pass it through some tape. Give it some tape color. Oh, I do have tape color. Fuck yeah. Here's my way around that. Fuck you. Thank you, Analog Obsession. Here's what we're going to do, guys. See this model? Hump tone. Well, that's a preamp. SS9. That's an SSL line amp. Oh, tape color. There we go. Now they can all eat a dick. All right, so here we go. We're going to use this instead. And it's free. Free. I'm free. Free balling. Anyway, let's go. This is my little uh, bone thugs beat anyway. Oh. Let's go here. I can't believe UAD pissed me off like that. Alright, let me go. Uh, well, I got headphones on. That's fine. Just want to give it a little color, man. Yeah, let's give it some oversampling. Is that shit low? Oh, it is to me. There we go.
of simplistic about it going to tape. But let's be realistic. Wouldn't that go through like, imagine this, imagine like I had these on like hardware units and stuff. It would go through like a console before it goes to tape, right? All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna pass it through though, right? Pass it through a Neve. What? What, what in the butt? Yes, we are. What is this? Is there a new version of this? Download updater to version one. All right, so now I'm going through that bullshit. So anyway, I updated it. I don't know, maybe it sounds better? Fuck, I have no clue. Well, anyway, we're just gonna pass it through my little Neve console. I want a brand new one. Brand spanking new, fresh out of the Neve factory. We're gonna use the old school one too, because I mean, I know we could go to like, you know, this. Or I could go to like modern, but there's no point in that. Everybody likes the classic Neve sound, and so do I. So we're gonna go with that. I'm just passing the audio through, I'm not doing anything to it. Uh, also, I turned the noise on, I didn't know that it was off. So let's hear how that sounds like just on this kick drum first. We'll just, I'll start doing it. We'll just do it. See, it's going through the, the line amp right now, and then it's it's not really activating the compressor, the EQs. I have the analog flavor to console one. Should I put oversampling on? Okay. Let's see what that sounds like. It seems like it softens it up a lot, though. Is that realistic? It's like a real Neve. I don't know if I turn it off. Oh no, maybe that is better. Okay. And and I think it needs a hardware sound, you know. But I don't need to be going crazy with it. I guess. Make it brand new. We're just passing the audio through. We're not doing anything else. Make sure the. See, I got to put noise on. Okay, just making sure everything's good. Yeah, because I want to sound like real shit, man.
has that dark, you know, um, Bone Thugs East 1999 vibe now. So we'll go ahead and I'm going to I'm going to render these tracks and then we're going to go into uh, Studio One and do the mix. We'll just do this one then. So using ESL 4000G from Brainworks. Why? Why am I not using Harrison Mix Bus? Personal preference. Once again, then I know they're going to come out version 10. There's going to be a 9000J EQ on it. Well, I already don't like the 9000J plugin. Why the fuck would I want to go get a workstation that sounds like a 9000J? I don't like the 9000J. I like this G. I think it's dope. I'm also glad that they don't. There's not a lot of competitor G's out there except for like Waves. And we all know Waves is crap. So, you know. Obviously, this is the best version of it. They don't, uh, but everybody else models the E series. But I think the G is just gangster, man. So I like it. Good for gangster rap music, which is my favorite shit. So, anyway, if you guys already heard the beat that I was working on and stuff. And so, what I was doing is I was going to show you guys the UAD Verve analog machines, but then iLock went fucking berserk on me, which really, really pisses me off, right? And then UAD, and you know what? I, you know what pisses me off? I hate. I'm gonna just tell it right now. I hate companies that use iLock. I hate them. I don't. I don't just tiny bit dislike them. I hate them with a passion. Because I hate iLock. It's not because I want to sit here and fucking crack plugins and put viruses on my computer. That's not what it is. It's because shit that I paid for doesn't fucking work. That's what it is. I spent money on those plugins. My fucking money. I work a day job, man. I'm not in the like, music industry, man. This is my big super hobby. And I'm fucking putting my fucking hard-earned money into that shit. Because I get, you know, they, they dress it all up, right? This is what they do. They dress it up. Oh, dude, this is better than the other tape machine plugins that we had before. This is the new shit. This sounds more like tape than tape. This sounds more like tape than our previous tape machines, which supposedly sounded exactly like the tape machine. <laughs> you know, I'm getting tired of that bullshit. Just same thing as with like the plugins and stuff. Like this is an SSL thing. I don't care what people think necessarily about SSL consoles or the company that runs them right now or the way that they are now. But back in the 80s, they made badass shit. Okay. They made badass gear. And nowadays, they are... I don't know what they're trying to do. Compete with the digital workstation or whatever the hell. Try to go for as clean as possible. We, we already got clean in the computer, man. I want a little I want a little vibe. This thing is pretty... I mean, it's cleaner than the E-Series. Because I think the E-Series had... Uh, transformers, you know, and the wherever the fuck, and the fader and the compressor is more warm and shit. So it's a little cleaner, but I don't know, this is kind of has a grit to it, which is cool sounding, I guess. I don't know why, it just does, it just sounds good. People are like, oh, you need to turn the V-Gain off and the THD off and all. No, I don't. All that shit sounds good to me. I'm going to leave all that shit in there. What? I don't want my mix to sound like I did it in the computer, fuck. That's why. I mean, I like the computer for the workflow, but I want the music to sound like music, man. I don't want it to sound like some artificial, overly perfect shit, right? Like, I want it to have... I want actually what it is. It's not even overly perfect, because overly perfect sounds tiny. I want my music to sound big, you know what I'm saying? And... And this compressor on this thing makes shit sound big. The EQ on this thing makes shit sound big. And the channel tolerances and also it makes the shit sound big, man. That's what I like about it. Get big ass sound out of this. Sure, I could probably do it with stock plugins, you know, if I wanted to go put a chain of like ten fucking plugins and that each that do one little thing of, of you know, each part of this thing, but fuck that. I ain't trying to do that shit. <laughs> And I got a little bit more vibe, man. This is supposed to give the whole workstation the sound of the G console as well. 
So that means if I do if I do decide to grab one of these fucking other you know stock plugins, it's gonna sound like it's still passing through the console. And of course, you know the channel is passing through the console anyway. So this is basically your summing engine. It's taking all these channels and summing it through. You know, summing it through this this bad boy to the master bus. Um, does it sound like it without it? Sure, it does, but. Because you're like, well, what is that? Maybe it's giving it a little bit more drive, a little bit more noise. Well, there's crosstalk, which the, cha the channel strip doesn't have the crosstalk. But it's adding the crosstalk. Isn't that going to make it sound, you know, too much? No, motherfucker, it's not. It's not. All this shit here is subtle. I, I, unless I drive it all the way up to 1800. Otherwise, it's pretty subtle. So a little bit more noise that's gated, so what? You know? Um, the characters that won, this is, you know, it sounds fucking fine, right? So, people need to just quit thinking about shit too much. Alright, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna mix this. It's not gonna take long, I got a very, very quick way of doing things. I don't know if you guys can hear me when, I, when the music's playing, uh, or is it just that much louder than me, but let's just go ahead and do it. So I have a K14 meter here, that's what I have this uh, K14. So you hear how big that shit sounds, all right? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, did you like that bass? I did. Boom. I have to turn it down there. Here, that was 808. All right, well, shit's banging already. Sounds better when the phase is not flipped. Alright, So this little trick that I'm doing, you probably see in other videos. Turn the ratio all the way to the left, threshold all the way to the right, release all the way to the left for drums. If it's not drums, leave it in the middle. And then uh, I uh, EQ into the compressor and I just do very little you know, moves on the on the shit.
right, so we're getting somewhere. So now, so we have a crash, we have the pianos, we have my, you know, choir sound. It's not much to this beat. A lot goes a little, a little bit goes a long way. All right, do the crash here on me. It sounds pretty good on its own. I'll just brighten it a tiny bit. I won't change anything. Perfect. Piano. That's done. I'm gonna go ahead and render this, and then we'll uh, we'll go master it afterwards. It sound pretty good so far. Does it sound like that Bone Thugs that East 1999? I think it does. All right, let's get into mastering. We are, we're gonna start mastering. So how are we gonna do that? Right? Very simple, man. I don't like to overthink anything. So let's trim the side noise first of all. I want this to fade out. Just this section here. So it's just a that's not really mastering, that's just a decision. Okay, now save this. So now uh, we're gonna grab I have Master Desk Pro. I don't like it. It's too much, right? I think this sounds just fine. This is just fine. Tribeek. I have Master Desk Pro, but I'm not I mean, I don't hate it, but there's a lot of shit that I don't really need. 
like especially for the music I'm doing. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy going. <laughs> That shit's done. Render an MP3 call it a day. Or a wave. But it's my just a B. I'm just going to do an MP3. So there you go. There you have it. That's it. You saw the, the beginning. We rant about UAD and iLock and how I hate iLock. Uh, but we found a way to treat the tracks. Run them through... Uh, you know, my virtual SSL 4000G. Did a mix on that. And then we did mastering with MasterDesk. MasterDesk is very easy. This is your volume. Right? So this is your loudness maximizer. de I always turn that all the way up. That's just to get rid of harshness. And like... So it's basically kind of like, you know, it's compressing like the 5000, 6000, 7000 kilohertz range. I mean, 7, 7K range, whatever. Foundation, that's your backs and dull EQ, right? It's tilt EQ, basically. So you go to the right, you get your, brings your bass up, brings your highs down. You go to the left, brings your lows down and your highs up. For me, I want to just go just a little bit, just to kind of smooth out a little bit of that, that, uh, what do you call it, handle uh, of digital, digitalness out of it. Give it a tiny bass bump. Tiny treble type and tiny presence. And you, you can tell even when I cranked it all the way up, it was still very subtle. So this is very, very subtle moves. Output, negative 0.3 decibels. I'm just going for CD loudness. So we're just leaving the that headroom there. I just only bring it up to touch zero and then I do that. So that's kind of basically, this is a very dynamic sounding master. THD, I messed around with it. I ultimately put it back to negative 60 decibels. Um, and it sounds good. I think it has the analog character. I think it has the character of like a classic Bone Thugs record. Uh, I think it sounds good. So uh, there you go. That's that's how you do it. So anyway, if you like my uh, videos, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'm um, sorry you can't see me like you used to in my other videos. I'm just like I said, I'm on another computer. I don't have a webcam here.
I'm on a like a I'm on a desktop PC now instead of a laptop like I had. I still have that laptop, I just don't use it to do videos. Uh, this is more powerful rig, man. So I definitely want to be able to show off a little bit more of like some of these other plugins and stuff, and not get like loaded down with CPU issues and stuff like that. So um, but there. So now you know a little bit of what's going on. What what I think personally about some of these plugins. You know what I hate right now that I just I hate more than anything is look at all the plugins I have. I, I'm pissed off to have this many plugins. I am. I don't need most of them. I mean, this is a free one here. A Mech 200, I got that because I was like, ooh, this might be the new good shit. I don't use it. I don't like it. I don't hate it. I just don't like it that much. Focusrite Studio Console, I got that for free. I'm okay with that. There was like a, a freebie when when Plugin Alliance uh, joined up with like Isotope or something. And then they gave you the Focusrite Studio Console for free. That's cool. I never use it. Because it just doesn't have the power like an SSL does for some reason. SSL compressors are powerful. I got, I think I got the E or the G first. I think I got the G first. I got console in because I wanted to try the Neve stuff. I thought maybe that might be something I'm missing out on. Turns out I don't use it. It's not bad. It's awesome. I just, I don't use it. Uh... I got the E series. Okay, I originally got the G for because Bone Thug stuff was mixed on G. Then I got the E because Dr. Dre stuff was done on the E. 4000. Then I got the 9000J because it was the brand new hot shit in fucking world. Best thing ever. Oh my god, it sounds like a real 9000. I'm going to come all over myself. And that's what it is, right? So I got the 9000J. And then I go, oh, it sounds very similar to this SSL native. Oh, by the way, I have that. Why did I get that? Because it's really made from SSL. I, I dealt with that bullshit from people. Oh my god, bro. Yeah, Brainworks. Brainworks ain't SSL, bro. Yeah, SSL's name is on that shit. But dude, you want the real SSL? Get SSL. Native. Then I used it and I go, oh, it's just digital fucking... Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't do any analog emulation. So I go, well, it sucks. It's just clean. You can't beat SSL. SSL themselves made it, bro. This is like the best SSL because SSL made it. Bullshit. No, this is better. This is better than SSL because it sounds like their hardware console, but on top of it all, they give me more shit. Like the hardware console does not have... Let me show you what it doesn't have. It doesn't have a second release, I don't think. High pass filter. Right, so the compressor only acts... Basically, it's like a sidechain thing. So that it only acts on frequencies, you know, above the fucking whatever the hell, though. It's letting the highs go, right? Letting the highs pass, it's gonna the compressor will not react to the low end stuff that you set. So if you set this to like 108 hertz, everything below 108 hertz, the compressor will not react to it. It's still compressing it, it's just not reacting to it on the meters, right? So there's a reason for that, people doing that shit. Controllable THD, you can't do that on a real console. Okay, so there's a few extra fucking things, you know, you can do here. There's also, I got this. I can parallel. I can crush this, and then I can parallel it right here. With this little screw. You can't even do that on the SSL native channel, because it has no fucking harmonics. So, fuck that shit, bruh. This has Solid State Logic's name on it, because it's the sound of their fucking hardware console, with extra shit. Here's another thing you can't do with the original. I could go slap an E fucking compressor in it. If you like the, the more of the saturation of the E compressor. You could do all sorts of shit, man. I could also switch the EQ type to the orange knob. You know, you could do that on a real one. You gotta just have to go buy the orange knob EQ. What, what if I want orange knob EQ with an E... <laughs> with the E fucking compressor? I can do that here. You know what I'm saying? Like, all sorts of shit that you can do here that you can't do on the fucking hardware compressor. I mean, not compressor, hardware console. So, fuck motherfucker's opinion. And also all the shit that I can do here that you can't do on this, man. 
Where's all those options on this motherfucker? None, man. You can't do it at go E. You know? And really, it's based on this, this 9000J. Which, once again, I could do all that other shit. Actually, I think I could do less with this. Yeah, because I don't have a second release. So you can do crazy fucking weird compression with this thing, but I still I can still crush it and then parallel it. Uh, split is a thing that they put in to whatever, put the filters in a certain way. Um, you know another reason why I don't use this channel strip too? You see how like in the G, everything's already set up. My, my noise is gated, all that shit. My filters are already engaged because, you know, just part of the sound. All that shit's turned off on here. I've turned on on my own. You know, and then now it's now it's doing with the, the other thing good. And they said, oh, well, you where's your E, you know, fucking EQ right here. You just you touch the E thing and now you have the E EQ. That the channel strip as a channel strip ad. So. But fuck that shit, man. Plus, oh, another thing too, you get 72 channels, man. What? What, what in the butt? Get 72 fucking channels? You know what I'm saying? I get 72 channels, each one doing some different shit. So I get better mixes with this. Can't do that on the channel strip too, so I don't know well, how better SSL is. It's not. The SSL, SSL hardware is the best. SSL software uh, is not the best. Okay, uh, Brainworks did a better job at modeling SSL's consoles. End of the day, man, it is what it is. Uh, I like the character of the G. I like the character of the E also. I made a lot of mixes with the E also, but I think the G is a little better. Um, J is just, I don't like it. I, I just don't like it, man. I get it's harsh to me. I don't like it. Um, Master Desk Pro is cool looking. It's sexy. But it's got a lot of shit I don't use. I mean, I get it. Like, how bad is your mix to have to use all this shit? <laughs> you know? I get it. I have it. If I need it. But I didn't feel like I really needed it that much. The whole point is having... Si you want simple workflow and consistency. That's what I'm getting out of this. I'm getting consistency. It's simple. It's not complicated. And it sounds good. Oh, there it is right here. So there you have it. That's what I'm telling you guys this shit at the end of the day. I, look at but this is what I hate. I hate... I bought this fucking... I don't know why. Why the fuck did I buy this? <laughs> because it's supposed to sound like a different kind of... I think it was supposed to sound like the SSL little box you can have on your desk. And it's not even that good, man. It sucks. So, like, that sucks. What else do I have that sucks? Mm, oh, that Model N channel is pretty fire, dude. It's dope. I showed you guys that in the other, in the other part of the video. I have Melodyne. Don't use it. Loads. This is cool. That's free. Guy from Analog Obsession. Lindell 80 busting channel. It's nice. Until I had this. Until I had Model N channel. My model N channel is way better. La La, that's an LA2A from Analog Obsession. It's cool. DB Comp, DB Compressor, uh, DBX Compressor. Car Test, that's like with your monitors. Don't do it with your headphones. To, to uh, kind of give you some con concept of whether your mixes are going to be decent in the car or not. Um... That's it, man. I got this. Nice. This is a really badass... Uh, preamp plugin right here. It's the uh, it's Telefunken. It's a it's uh, V seventy two. So it says V pre seventy two. Fuse Audio Labs makes it. It's amazing. It's it, it, this sounds pretty fire, man. Like I'll show you in another video. <laughs> but that's what I, ha I have the SSL three sixteen link because I, I thought about the idea of mixing with the Brainworks consoles and the. I don't I don't even use the 360 software. So there you have it. 
It's your boy Vigilante Styles, man. If you like my videos, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Um, drop me a comment. You know, um, if you got some recommendations for good tape emulations, let me know. Ones that sound like legit tape. I want somebody who's basically compared the two. Right? Somebody who goes, dude, I AB it with my actual tape, with a tape machine or a... Or let's say we had similar tracks and you went to the studio and got it put through a tape machine. And then you're like, dude, I just found a plug-in. Sounds exactly like my shit that came off the tape machine. Gotta get it. All right. Shit. And like you, you can see here, I get it. But what I'm trying to do, man, is I'm simplifying. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to want to use 90% of these plugins. The company's made so much money off me, dude. At the end of the day, the, most you don't need 90% of this shit to make a mix. I got real phones. I can't do that for these videos because, you know, things... You guys don't have my headphones, so everything will sound all fucked up. So I don't use it while I mix on here, but I like to mix with that, too. And that's that's a fire plug-in, too, by the way, for doing headphone mixes. But I have monitors, too. But sometimes you just want to check it on some different monitors that you don't have. Real phones. What about Slate VSX? I don't fucking know. I don't want to buy the headphones. I feel like it's gimmicky. Why couldn't they just go and model the shit to my headphones? How hard is that? You know, they they go, oh no, but to get it all perfect, fuck off. Get it perfect. We, we had to make our own headphones. No, no, no. You wanted to make money. That's why you made your own headphones. That no one could use your software on except with the fucking headphones. I'm tired of scummy businesses like that. That's why I don't support Slate either and I used them in previous videos fuck them now I don't fucking use Slate so there you have it keep it real baby it's your boy Vigilante Styles and I'm out peace